how is generative AI like ChatGPT going to affect our jobs? Is it going to replace us? Will it make us more productive? What's exactly going to happen in the workplace? Well, the research has been coming in since May, and it's looking like we may know the answer. Hi, I'm Prophecy. I talk about technology and its impact on society and geopolitics. And today I want to talk about how AI tools like ChatGPT are affecting office productivity and specifically talk about four studies that provide some great insight into what is happening. Now, one of the first studies was from researchers at MIT and the pre-publication came out in May. This research was since published in Science in July. What they did was they incentivized two sets of people to use AI. These were college educated professionals and they were incentivized to complete various writing tasks, meaning that they were given some motivation, some reward for doing that. The two groups were equally incentivized to complete these tasks. They had 435 college educated professionals and randomly exposed half of them to ChatGPT so they knew how to use it in their writing tasks. The results of this study, which is linked below along with all the other studies, showed that ChatGPT substantially raised productivity. The average time taken to complete these tasks decreased by 40% and output quality rose by 18%. Also, the inequality between workers decreased. So this is a common theme that we'll see, that these systems increase the productivity of workers. It takes less time and the task is done better. But some workers receive more benefit. The quote from the study is especially helpful to those with poor writing and communication skills relative to their other skills. These poor writers and poor communicators, they sped up, they had more clear writing, they had less rework to do. So if you think of it as a bell curve of worker productivity, that moves up with the good writers receiving some benefit and the poor writers getting a lot more benefit. Let's take a look at another study, this one from two researchers in the UK that looked at the type of output that workers were producing with AI. They concluded access to generative AI causes an increase in the writer's creativity with stories being evaluated as better written and more enjoyable, especially among the less creative writers. However, they found that while an individual's writing might be viewed as more creative, there was less novel content, less ideas that had never been in the world before. And this is what we might expect. AI has been trained on a set of information and therefore is good at creativity within those confines of the information it's been trained on. However, remember that the AI that you're using today is the worst version of that AI that you're probably ever going to use. It's only going to get better. Here's another study from the researchers at the University of Minnesota. They looked at law students who were using generative AI. In the interest of time, I want to skip to one of their main conclusions. They found that ChatGPT's impact depended heavily on the student's starting skill level. Students at the bottom of the class saw huge performance gains with AI assistance. That's a direct quote. So once again, we're seeing this bell-shaped curve uh, of productivity or of writing skills, and we're seeing this trend that the poor writers the less creative writers, they're getting an enormous benefit where the people that are pretty good writers and pretty creative get some benefit, but not a huge amount. They concluded, this suggests that generative AI may have an equalizing effect on the legal profession, mitigating inequalities between elite and non-elite lawyers. It's leveling the playing field. And lastly, this study was just officially published this week although a pre-publication has been floating around for a couple of weeks. The study was conducted by a large multidisciplinary team and used multiple modes of experimentation and data collection. This chart shows a summary of the findings, and here's how Ethan Mollick, a Wharton professor and one of the authors, summarized the work. He said, There's a ton of important and useful nuance in the paper, but let me tell you the headline first. For 18 different tasks selected to be realistic samples of the kinds of work done by an elite consulting company, consultants using ChatGPT4 outperformed those who did not by a lot. On every dimension, every way, we measured performance. Consultants using AI finished 12.2% more tasks on average and completed tasks 25.1% more quickly and produced 40% higher quality results than those without. 
once again, the same theme. We start to see that people that are in the poor end of the spectrum as far as writing creativity and doing this type of uh, work that you see at elite consulting companies, any one of these studies where they're lawyers or whatever, it's moving this curve up. The question is, is this going to maintain? Remember how Slack's teams and unified communications were going to help us all become more productive? And yes, there were lots of studies showing how these systems improve productivity. And when used properly, they can be a productivity boost. But too many Slack groups and team groups, if that's what we call them, uh, have become just another time suck. So will ChatGPT fall into the same trap? Will your employees just be using it to test new pickup lines and generate dad jokes? Well, my prediction and my advice to business leaders, if you want to capture these productivity gains, you have to share the reward. In the long term, Technology adoption is a psychological and sociological phenomenon. We talk about this with the technology adoption curve. I'll link to a video that you can find out more about. The studies that I have quoted probably have a bias toward people and companies that are early adopters, the ones to first try new technology. Many leaders, of course, are going to look at these studies and think, wonderful, now I can have one person do the work of three. Well, if that is the case, the adoption of generative AI and ChatGPT will be slow within organizations. But in the whole discussion of technology and productivity, it's clear what is happening. Once again, that bell curve. Now, once again, if you have made it to the end of one of my videos, you are an elite crowd, and you should, for God's sakes, please subscribe.